The fifth season of the animated television series, Aqua Teen Hunger Force originally aired in the United States on Cartoon Network's late-night programming block, Adult Swim. Season 5 started on January 20, 2008 with Robots Everywhere and ended with Bible Fruit on March 23, 2008. Aqua Teen Hunger Force is about the surreal adventures and antics of three anthropomorphic fast food items, Master Shake, Frylock, and Meatwad, who live together as roommates and frequently interact with their human next-door neighbor, Carl Brutnanadilewski in a suburban neighborhood in South New Jersey. In May 2015, this season became available on Hulu+. Plus. Although 10 episodes were produced for season 5, only 9 episodes aired. An episode entitled, Boston, was scheduled to air as part of season 5, but Adult Swim pulled it to avoid further controversy surrounding the 2007 Boston bomb scare. Episodes in season 5 were written and directed by Dave Willis and Matt Maialaro. Almost every episode in this season features a special guest appearance, which continues a practice used in past seasons. Jonah Krakow of IGN has given episodes from this season a range of both positive and negative reviews. Krakow criticized the violent killing of kittens by Master Shake in Ridiculous, saying it was going too far. The season 5 finale, Bible Fruit, lead to the creation of a short-lived spin-off series called Soul Quest Overdrive, which later premiered on May 25, 2011 on Adult Swim. This season has been made available on DVD, and other forms of home media, including on-demand streaming. <laughs> Topic. Production Every episode in this season was written and directed by series creators Dave Willis and Matt Maialaro, who have both written and directed every episode of the series. Episodes originally aired in the United States on Cartoon Network's late-night programming block, Adult Swim. This season was one of the original seasons branded under the Aqua Teen Hunger Force title before Willis and Maialaro started using a different alternative title for each season in 2011. As with most seasons, several episodes originally aired outside of their production order. Season 5 is the first season of the series to be produced in 16-9 high definition. This was the first season to air after the debut of Aqua Teen Hunger Force colon movie film for theaters, and after the series got national attention from the 2007 Boston bomb scare. Topic. Boston A full-length episode satirizing the 2007 Boston bomb scare entitled Boston was produced and finished its entirety and was meant to serve as the premiere of the fifth season. The 2007 Boston bomb scare occurred on January 31, 2007 when various LED displays resembling Aqua Teen Hunger Force characters Igninoct and Air were placed in various locations in Boston, Massachusetts and were mistaken for explosive devices. Subsequently the entire city was shut down for security purposes, Cartoon Network manager Jim Samples resigned and the network's parent company Turner Broadcasting paid $2 million in damages. Ultimately Adult Swim was forced by the legal department at Turner Broadcasting to pull the episode completely. The second episode, Robots Everywhere, served as the season premiere on January 20, 2008. During the production of Boston, executives at Adult Swim were very nervous about the episode leading to further controversy, and forced Willis and Maialaro to rewrite the episode several times. Ultimately, three different versions were produced. When asked about the episode, Maialaro has stated it is relatively tame in comparison to what South Park creators would have done in a similar situation. 
Mayalaro states for most part it was written as if it was something that could actually happen in reality, unlike most episodes that mainly focus on surreal plot lines. Willis also mentioned that comedian Paul F. Tompkins made a guest appearance in it who he referred to as an amazing comedian. Mayalaro has claimed, Boston is his favorite episode. In 2015, an unfinished version of Boston was illegally leaked online. The episode has still never been aired and has never been formally released to the public in any format legally by Adult Swim. Willis has indirectly stated that there are no plans for a formal release of the episode at any time in the foreseeable future. This marks the first time an episode of the series has been pulled. No other episodes were pulled. Topic. Cast In Season 5 the main cast consisted of Dana Snyder who provided the voice of Master Shake, Carrie Means who provided the voice of Frylock, and series co-creator Dave Willis who provided the voice of both Meatwad, Carl Brutonanadilevsky, and recurring character Igninoct. Season 5 also featured appearances from recurring voice cast members such as Matt Maialaro who voiced Markula in the first three episodes to an air, George Lowe who voiced himself as various characters. Master Shake, Frylock, and Meatwad, who have appeared in every episode prior, were completely absent in Sirens. Additionally Master Shake and Frylock only make brief speaking cameos in Robots Everywhere. Season 5 features special guest appearances from various comedians and other celebrities in almost every episode. Paul F. Tompkins appeared in Boston as a police officer. Davia Roney voiced an unnamed woman, and Fred Armisen, Rachel Dratch, Vishal Roney, Davia Roney, Sam Harrigan, Molly Harrigan, Sadie Willis, Max Willis in voiced various robots in Robots Everywhere. In Sirens. Nico Case voiced Chrysanthemum, Kelly Hogan voiced the BJ. Queen, John Crook voiced himself. In Hoppy Bunny, Scott Adsit provided the voice of Hoppy Bunny. Vincent Pastor voiced Terry in Laser Lenses. Uncredited. T Pain and Josh Um voiced the dummies in Dummy Love. Alexander Katz and Scott Llewellyn both appeared in the Marines. In Bible Fruit, David Cross, credited as Sir Willups Brightslimore, voiced Bird Banana, H. John Benjamin, credited as John the Hammer, Benjamin, voiced Mortimer Mango, and Kristen Shaw, credited as Franny Hood, voiced Tammy Tangerine. Topic. Episodes Topic. Reception The season 5 episode, Bible Fruit, lead to the creation of a short-lived spin-off, Soul Quest Overdrive. In 2010, the pilot episode of Soul Quest Overdrive was released online though Adult Swim's Big Uber, Network Sampling. Feature. Six episodes of the series were ordered, four of them aired back-to-back -back on May 25, 2011 during Adult Swim's DVR Theater. The series has not been aired since, leaving two episodes unaired. This would be the third Aqua Teen Hunger Force spin-off behind Spacegatas and Carl's Stone Cold Lock of the Century of the Week. Jonah Krakow of IGN gave Robots Everywhere a 5.5 out 10, which considered mediocre, saying, We could get deeply psychoanalytical and say that Carl's confusion and annoyance with the robots is a metaphor for the audience's suffering and the robots are the staff of ATHF doing the torturing. Krakow gave the following episode, Sirens. An 8, which is considered great, saying, 
Thankfully, this episode was much stronger than last week as Carl and his sexual desires were the focus of the comedy instead of annoying robots. Krakow gave Couples Skate an 8.3 and praised the return of Master Shake, Frylock, and Meatwad, calling it a solid episode. Krakow gave Ridiculous gave this episode an 8.5, and gave this episode a good review, but said Master Shake killing kittens in a microwave was going too far. Hoppy Bunny was given an aid by Krakow, who praised this episode for originality saying, not too many shows out there would touch furries. Krakow gave laser lenses. A 7, who noted that the episode didn't give any new information or insight about any of the characters saying, They simply ran around, pissed each other off and got themselves into disgusting circumstances. Sometimes, that's good enough. Krakow gave, Dummy love a 7.0, and said the episode had funny moments but wasn't as funny as it could be, and that the episode has a lot of potential, which it didn't live up to saying, The Marines revived Krakow's lowest score of the season with a 5.5. Krakow said the only funny parts of The Marines were Saw parody and the CGI gum commercial funny, saying, Unfortunately, the majority of this episode just didn't work at all. The jokes were old or non-existent, the plot made no sense and Carl wasn't there as an additional source of comedy. Krakow gave. Bible Fruit. The greatest score of the season, 9.5, which is considered amazing, and gave the episode a good review saying it was a great way to end the season. Topic. Home release Nine episodes from Season 5 were released on the Aqua Teen Hunger Force Vol. 6 DVD on December 16, 2008, along with the first four episodes from Season 6, prior to their original television debuts. The set was released by Adult Swim and distributed by Warner Home Video, and features several special features including the 2007 and 2008 episodes of Carl's Stone Cold Lock of the Century of the Week then known as I'm Pissed and commentaries on select episode. The set was released in Region 4 by Madman Entertainment on February 10, 2010. Robots Everywhere was originally released as a special feature on the Aqua Teen Hunger Force Zombie Ninja Pro-M video game on November 5, 2007, months prior to its official television debut on January 20, 2008. This season was also released under the label, Season 6, on iTunes and the Xbox Live Marketplace in HD and SD, and on Amazon Video under the label, Volume 5. Topic. See also List of Aqua Teen Hunger Force episodes Aqua Teen Hunger Force <laughs>